So when it comes to shoes, um, you can definitely make a statement with your outfit, with your shoes. Uh, you know, there's a, so many different options. There's big heels in different colors or flats. Uh, sneakers, you can wear booties. There's so many different options out there that it probably can seem really confusing to figure out what to wear with your outfit. Um, you know, again, I don't believe in rules, so I think if you're comfortable in flats, you should wear flats. I don't think you have to wear heels because you're wearing a dress. Um, the idea with that is to make sure that the flats, despite not having a heel, sort of fit the dress or the formalness of what you're wearing. So, you know, make sure if you're wearing flats with a skirt or a dress that they have nice clean lines and maybe um, a little decoration to make them feel a little more dressed up. Um, when it comes to heels, I think it's really important to invest in a couple pairs of classic shoes. Um, everyone needs a pair of black pumps and everyone needs a pair of nude pumps. The black ones go with everything and you can wear them to work or to evening and the nude ones are just so flattering. Um, you know, try and find one that matches your your skin tone, so either a lighter shoe or a darker shoe depending on your skin. Um, and what they do is they really elongate your leg. So if you're wearing a nice tall pair of nude heels or sort of skin colored heels, it's going to give the illusion that you have, you know, four or five extra inches on those legs and everyone wants that. Um, if it's about picking the outfit and wanting to make sure your shoes don't look out of place, there's very few rules. A couple things to keep in mind are with the sort of ankle booties that are really popular right now. You don't want to wear those with a longer skirt because what they do is they really cut your foot off or your leg off at the ankle. So if you're wearing those, you want to make sure you're wearing a shorter skirt or something that shows enough leg to balance it off. Otherwise, if you're wearing something longer, you want something with like a, a lot amount, of, a large amount of your foot showing. So a peep toe or a sort of pump that runs really, really deep down your foot. Or even like a strappy sandal where you see a lot of skin. The idea is really just balancing and making sure you have enough leg showing and that the cuts aren't you know, too close together. So if your skirt hem is here, you don't want your shoe hem to be that close to it. Um, when it comes to winter, you know, it's all about boots or sort of things that you can wear that are versatile, that you can trudge through the mud and the snow and the rain, but you're still gonna look good in. Um, so again, that's another way to wear a dress or a skirt with some tights and a good pair of flat boots because you're gonna be the most comfortable in that. A classic black riding boot is never gonna go out of style and it'll go with any outfit. If you like a little height, like you really feel more comfortable if you have a heel, um, for winter time, I recommend something with a stacked heel as opposed to a stiletto heel and that way it's gonna be a little more comfortable and a little more secure. I think my favorite thing to do though is really mix and match and sort of surprise people with your footwear. If you're wearing like a really, really dressy feminine outfit, it's probably, it, it would be cool if you wore it with like an ankle boot or even sneakers, like something to really surprise people. Um, and the flip side is maybe you're wearing like a menswear inspired outfit or some really tailored pants and a button down blouse. That's when you should wear like a really strappy pair of high stilettos. Because again, that balance or that sort of surprise element is what's gonna make your outfit most interesting. Thank you.